Hey there guys, let's get right to it. This is going to be an updated video to my review of Better Battle Log, the add-on for Chrome and Mozilla Firefox users. Um, they recently released uh, version 1.3. Uh, this is the page that you're going to download it from. I'll have a link to this page in the video description as well as a link to the original review. Uh, I'm just going to go over the newest things that they've added in 1.3. So, since I've already downloaded it, we'll go to the page. Here's the BB Log logo, and uh, this is where you can again toggle any of the features on and off. So, one of the things that uh, Better Battle Log did was the radar list, where you could add servers to your uh, to this radar list. It was your own individual list of you know things to keep out, uh, keep well not out but uh, keep an eye on. Uh, you can right click and add things to this radar list, or if you're in the server page it'll be in the top right if it loads there we go and you basically just activate it and you see now it's changed to that color and this would just uh, it would you know point these servers out maybe as a server that just used filters you didn't like so and this is also a feature that you could do to players individually if I right click on this guy I can add that guy to my radar list so you can do this to any player any server um, that was a feature for the server uh, the server browser list. Now they have moved that over into the forums page. So we just come to a uh, one of these topics, and this guy right here, I right click on him, add to flame radar list. This flame radar list is the new thing added, and it's just uh, if you are uh, if you frequent the forums, and uh, you know you notice that uh, certain people like to flame a lot, they like to be trolls, they uh, spam things a lot. Uh, you just uh, right click on them and add them to their flame radar, your flame radar list. And basically it just uh, censors anything that they post. Uh, let's find one that has more posts in it. Like this one right here. Uh, this guy, bunch of randoms. He's in here twice, right here and right here. So if I added him to the flame radar list, I would not see this post. And I would not see his post right here. It just removes them. Similar to something like uh, Adblocker Plus, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, that's one of the new features. Another one is they have uh, added a little bit more detail to the weapon stats page. So we'll go to my uh, weapons list. Let's, uh, let's do the M16. Been using that a lot lately. And uh, this was in here before the uh, bullets uh, weapon stats and the weapon accuracy stats. Uh, talking about the bullet spread and the bullets recoil. Um, that chart's been in there. And uh, basically what they did is this little accuracy bullet plot. Uh, this has been there before, but now they have added in uh, the ability to customize it via you know attachments, uh, whether you're aiming down the sight or firing from the hip, whether you're standing, crouching, or prone, and whether you're moving or standing still. And these are the attachments. Sadly, you cannot do like a mix and match. I know with weapons I could throw on the foregrip and have a suppressor. Um, so maybe that'll be in uh, 1.4, hopefully, fingers crossed. So yeah, let's uh, let's check it out. This is what the M16 is going to be for your first, second, third, and fourth shots, your for, uh, bullets. Uh, that's what it's going to be, holding in full auto. So if we throw on the suppressor, which, you know, kind of tightens up the bullet spread, doesn't really... Uh, you got that little gap right there, but, you know, that's pretty good, pretty good. Let's look at the foregrip. Obviously, the foregrip, you know, reduces the horizontal recoil, so it kind of tightens it closer to the center. And flash suppressor, a little scattered. Um, let's see, laser sight with firing from the hip. That probably is not actually what it is. This might be a glitch. Just uh, who knows. Uh, maybe uh, 1.4 will fix this because I'm pretty sure firing from the hip with the laser sight is not going to have that much spread. While moving, yeah. Aiming down sight while moving, see, we can see the difference between that standing still. So definitely fire standing still. So this is pretty nice if you're wanting to compare multiple weapons. Uh, one of the small changes that they did was this uh, switch to another weapons section. They have categorized it as by class. Uh, assault, Engineer, Support, Recon, General, Pistols, Shotguns, and PDWs. So let's say we're lo currently looking at the M16. I'm going to compare it with the L85 and the F2000. We scroll to this, scroll on down a bit, and scroll on down a bit. And we 
can look at the F2000 with a foregrip. This one with a foregrip. And this one with a foregrip. So here's the M16, this one, and this one. And we can clearly see that the M16 is the clear victor. So this is a nice little uh, addition to help you uh, figure out which type of weapon you want that changes based on the situation for firing from the hip, if you're prone, moving prone, things like that. So yeah, these are all the changes in 1.3 aside from a few uh, minor ones that don't really, don't really matter, not really features. So here's Better Battle Log version uh, 1.3. Again, download link will be in the description of this video as well as the previous video. And uh, yeah, like, comment, and uh, subscribe if you guys want some more content for Battlefield 3 or any other games out there. So yeah, have a good one.